Okay, so it's time for another uh, Guess the School at uh, the Centre Court MBA Festival uh, tonight here in uh, San Francisco. Uh, so you know the, uh, the routine. I'm going to give you three or four uh, facts about uh, this uh, leading business school for you to uh, share your thoughts, you know, uh, text who you think it might be. Uh, and then, Meredith, you'll, uh, you'll share the secret. So first one, as, as we look at um, a changing job market for MBA graduates. Of course, healthcare has been one of the really uh, emerging uh, sectors. Um, and this school, 22% of the MBA graduates are working uh, in healthcare, with a further, further 32% of those MBA grads uh, that are working in tech. So a very, very dynamic job market for the graduates of the school. Um, and they're achieving something that you know we've been talking about for, for the last decade of uh, how do you move towards gender balance. Well, uh, our guests at the school, they have a 46% uh, women in the MBA classroom. Uh, and as we were just discussing, over 40% women in the classroom for the last uh, nine years. So, um, great achievement. The uh, entrepreneurial spirit of the school, there is uh, an innovation lab, um, which is right across the, uh, the campus. Um, with uh, pulling together all of the resources of the fourth largest private university in the US. And then the final clue that I'm going to give you um, is related to um, the case competition, which of course you know, plays such a big part of uh, c the collaboration of students and all of the sort of learning skills that they're pulling together. Well, uh, at our guest the school, in the 13 case competitions, uh, their teams finished, no, out of all of the 13 case competitions they took part on, uh, they finished in the top 10. Now, in 11 of those 13, they finished in the top three. And in six of all of those com competitions, they ranked first. So, uh, where do we start with that? We talked about a dynamic environment. Meredith, um, healthcare, tech, I mean, the, the school's really made its mark in that space. We have, and actually we've had a commitment to the healthcare space and the, and the digital technology and technology before that space uh, for the last 40 years. Uh, in healthcare in particular, uh, we are located in a large city in the U.S. and, um, and for the past 40 years have collaborated with the health systems in that city um, to really grow the business of healthcare. Uh, and even in technology, there's been a large growth of, um, of technology-focused companies in the area. And again, um, our school has focused very, very heavily on partnering with those uh, companies so that we can develop business leaders for the technology sector. With, with my um, colleague John Byrne, whenever I ask him, you know, what, what are the big trends for business schools in the coming 10 years, he's like, healthcare, tech. So you're right on the money with those two. Um, and, you know, we've all observed um, more women considering business school the next step. But since 2009, you've had over 40% women in the classroom and 46% this year. Why? What's, uh, what, what's the school doing to achieve those sort of numbers? That's a great question. Um, we're really, really proud of the women in our MBA programs. Um, that that number includes those pursuing the full-time program and the part-time program. Uh, and I think it's because we spent uh, quite a bit of time and energy uh, focusing on our community and the and the type of culture that we um, embrace for our students. The collaborative nature of uh, of the programs that we offer and the projects that we offer as part of those programs. And, you know, other factors like our location and uh, the types of concentrations and, um, and dual degree programs that we offer within the MBA uh, have been interesting to women and have been interesting to women for a long time. So um, we're very proud of the way that our class uh, is so balanced every year and, um, and it's a commitment that we've made really to our community as a whole. You talk about the, the dual degree programs and, and also perhaps this relationship between the business school within uh, you know, a, 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 a big private university. How, how does that sort of synergy work uh, and the benefits that students gain from that? Sure. Um, there are uh, several different dual degree options on uh, our campus and it, it really opens up opportunities for our students because um, 
certainly if they are looking to uh, to combine two different types of degree programs, uh, for example, a public health and an MBA or, or um, an international relations and an MBA, they have the opportunity to do that. But even if they're not ready to commit to the full dual degree option, they can take courses at any one of our, we have 13 graduate schools on campus and they can take courses at any one of those 13 graduate schools and bring it back to their MBA studies, which really allows students to tailor their degrees and their, and their um, concentrations in such a way that it will maximize their successes. An incredible breadth of experience, and of course the case study and, and the case study competitions that are, you know, so much part of that MBA experience. How do you explain the sort of success that you're achieving? You know, winning six of them, you know, but 11 out of 13, you're in the top three. What what uh, what is the school doing to, to create this generation of winners of the case study competitions? Sure, um, we we sort of joke in our community that teaming is in our DNA, and. Um, while teaming is certainly a very important part of the MBA experience, really everywhere, we've taken uh, a new approach to developing teams, starting with collaboration and communication uh, from the very outset, so that as our teams come together for projects and uh, for case competitions and the like, they're already coming from a place where communication uh, has been tested and and has been developed uh, really from the start of our, our of our orientation program. Um, we do also have uh, faculty members who prep and help prep case uh, competition teams to ensure that um, that teams are thinking critically and and being innovative in their both their thought process and their solution. Um, but really, what we think it comes down to is uh, the development of teams and how we focus on that. So, uh, so a, a great uh, job market and opportunities in healthcare and tech, um, the entrepreneurial culture uh, and the sort of diversity and great gender balance at the school. Uh, so this is uh, Boston University Questrom. Uh, and Meredith is an associate dean at the school. You know the school so well. Uh, what is just on a personal level one, one thing that you really, really love about Questrom? The one thing I love about Questrom, and, and, and you're absolutely right, I, I have been at Questrom for, for uh, nine years, uh, is, is the culture and the community. Um, we are an, a, a business school that focuses very, very heavily on the student experience and uh, ensuring that the students have, have an active part in developing uh, the opportunities for growth, for networking, for uh, really maximizing what they're doing in the classroom, uh, both personally and professionally. So um, what strikes me, and I'm sure uh, you know, many, many of my colleagues are saying the same thing, as, as What's important and what's special about a business school is finding the culture that is going to um, maximize your experience. And for me, as a professional, that has been Questrom. So, so uh, Boston University Questrom is uh, with us at Center Court, um, the festival here in San Francisco tonight. They'll be with us in Los Angeles on Saturday. And as the, we go back across the country, with um, we've got events coming up in Houston, Toronto, Chicago, uh, DC, and New York. We hope that um, you'll follow those. Come and see us if, uh, if you're in any of those towns. Uh, and of course, um, the Guest of the School competition. So um, we hope that you enjoyed this. Meredith, thanks very much for joining us.